Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to the Jalzy Podcast. We are back with another a podcast, guys. And today we're going to be discussing so many things. So welcome, welcome. It is currently 11.03 p.m. Today has been a super, super, uh, what is it, productive day. We filmed a vlog today. We were doing a lot of crazy stuff today. And late at night, 11.03 p.m., almost midnight, we're filming a podcast. Yeah, we really want to get this done right now because honestly... I feel like, sorry, I'm just like scratching the fucking mic and hold up. It's going to get better. That's, I'm looking for a new host. New host. All right. Applications, I'll be putting the link down below. Hey, <laughs> only I could do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, we need to film it today because if not, it gets to the point where it's like too close to the posting date and then it just gets. Dude, that's crazy. the worst because then like the video is going to get old soon. Yeah, it's the worst. So we need to like really be better. So today we decided to be better people and film the podcast with more time the night before dude like i'm super excited to talk about today's podcast there's so much to talk about <laughs> sip and hurt look at you bro i am gassy i need this poppy mm. i mean i need this carbonite carbonized water carbonated oh whatever <laughs> so so yeah i post i've been posting a little bit more consistently and i've been like super super happy to film for my own channel like i feel like i'm back in that rhythm i have a video to edit but the thing that I've been struggling with the most is finding an editor. Like, I feel like having a team when you're when you're on a channel that, like, I can't really put all of my time onto the, my specific channel because I have two other channels that I have to manage, too. So, it's super hard. And I, I sent my video to an editor, sent it back, but it was just, like, it's different. And I, like, look up to you and I look up to, like, our editors that we have for our other channels. And it's, like... It's just like, wow, like, it's, how did we find these gems? Dude, honestly, I think that nobody in the world will ever be my editor. And it makes me, like, very much really sad because I will never find another editor to edit the way that my videos are edited. But obviously very happy and blessed that I did get her because, like, I see how much we struggle and, like, how much you struggle with, like, your channel and stuff. And it's hard because to find the perfect person, and especially because you're a male, it's a little harder because your editing style is a lot different. Although your, I feel like your main audience is females. Like I think your demographic is like mainly female, right? My demographic is seventy twenty. Wait, wait, that doesn't no, make sense. Wait a minute, seventy thirty. Seventy thirty. Yeah, so your f audience is female, right? Which you could get away with the female editor just because the people who watch you are girls. But I think long term i don't know if that's what you want so finding a male editor who is going to be fully focused on you without taking a different career path is extremely difficult and it's super hard especially for editors because if you're an editor and you don't find a job soon like bro it, like you have bills to pay so you're gonna have to find another career path and you're gonna lose the passion for editing eventually and it's just hard because like say i find an editor and they have school they go take a different career path but if i would got them like six months earlier to a year earlier they would have been my full-time editor that would have been crazy yeah it's difficult and you definitely have to find someone and like another thing is with editors that's really really difficult is that like what you've been struggling with right now that a lot of editors right now are not editing your style so now you have to um, grow together to have the same style mm. and that is difficult because it's going to take months plus you're going to be paying like a professional salary for this person even though you have to still train them so it's it's a really big process that i mean it's better to start it now though because you've been struggling way too much yeah i feel like it is better to start now but not at the rate like it's been going because i was paying x amount of money for an editor and it was like I should be paying that if they're doing the job perfectly, you perfectly, know. Perfectly, yeah. And oh my gosh, so one time we had this, um, we hired this like, <sighs> this makes me sad till this day because you just know, like in this industry, it's really hard to find editors because of just so many reasons. But there's this thing where people will create like a pack of editors, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so passionate about this. I need to sit up. Oh, you want to, sorry, you want to know something? Okay, so you know that pack of editors that you're talking about? Mm -hmm. So one of my friends was telling me that he used to do that. He used to like, but like get good editors. So he used to like charge a certain rate. And from that rate, he would pay the editor and profit off of it himself. So he would like get money from that. And he wouldn't even have to edit the videos. It was like sub editing. That was yeah, insane. Yeah, that shit is so unethical. But I feel like, <laughs> no, it really is, dude. It's so fucked up, especially if you're not really doing anything. Because here you can sub edit, but in a proper ethical way. Oh, adds music to my ears. It's 11 in the morning. No, no, it's 11 at night. You know what it's time for? It's time for an energy drink. Mm, that peach one is delicious. Uh, 
but wow. yeah so we had this like editor because i don't know if you guys remember but like there was a point in time where we were looking for an editor for Jadley. So I um, like I had someone connect me with this like pack of editors. And they were supposed to be pretty good, right? Okay, so when we had our first meeting, tell me why. Like this is red flag number one. Like if you're a YouTuber and you're watching this right now, I'm going to tell you like what to look out for when it comes to editors. So like the first thing was that like I am very big on communication. So I had said like I'd set up a meeting with this person and I was like, I want to have like weekly meetings. Like I, before, you know, a video is filmed, like I want to hop on a call or like something so I can explain how I want the video done. So things are done right. And then we don't go through like four or five steps of revisions because that's like no good for nobody. Right. Um, and then also I was like the turnaround time to be, I think I had said like five or six days, something like that. I was like, th that turnaround time is like perfect. And like, that's what I'm willing to do for the rate. So they gave me the rate and the rate was like really, really high. And I was like, oh, and it was also contract based. So he was like, OK, we're going to do this rate for four weeks or whatever. And you had to sign on it. It was like per monthly. And I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. So I was like, let's do a test trial. And if we like it, we'll like sign. So we did it. And that video is the what video was that? The long distance video? It was. Yeah, it was the long distance video, dude. OK, so. We sent that video and like, oh, another thing is we were, they were going to charge us like a lot more because we send like three hours of footage. But the thing is that a lot of people don't realize like, yeah, it's three hours of footage, but, but the video time lapse, there's like yeah. montages and stuff like that. Like drive with us where like the music, you have to cut at eight seconds. So there's like a lot. It's not three hours like that. You're going to have to have three hours with a full final product. It ends up being like 15 minutes, 17 minutes. So I was like, it's not like a sit down video where I'm talking to you for three hours straight. It's literally probably going to be like an hour of talking and the rest is going to be time lapse montages, B roll. Like, it's just like a whole thing. Right. So thankfully we agreed on that rate, which was still so freaking high. And then tell me why, like the day comes where we were supposed to get the video back and it wasn't ready. Right. The no, day that it, it was supposed to. I don't think it was ready. Okay. It wasn't and they ready. didn't, they didn't start. They didn't start on it until like four days or three days after we sent it. Mm -hmm. And it was like a six day turnaround, I think. And that's pretty late turnaround date, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And then we got it back and we got back a like 50 minute vlog. We were on vacation. Not vacation. We were filming another video. Where no, were we No, we at? were on vacation. I think we were in um, well, it's Palm work. Springs. It's work. Yeah, yeah. So we were, on, we were in Palm Springs and on vacation. And we get the video. I get it back and I'm like, I, don't, I didn't even watch it yet. But seeing it being a 50 minute video. And we're used to what, maybe 20 minute max, 25. We knew. We knew this video wasn't going to be anything great. Like, bro, I was just like, did a first grader edit this video? Yeah. And I, I told Nat, like, I don't want to watch this video. It's 50 minutes long. Like, that's like me actually editing the whole video. Mm -hmm. We didn't even watch it. We literally just sent it back and we were like, the video should not be 50 mm. minutes. Like, no, 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 no. I did watch it. I watched, I think the first four minutes were you still in the bathroom. Oh my. Like four you're doing minutes your, in the bathroom. your skincare. And then they did weird edits. Like you were like not talking, but you were like moving your hair and they like followed your hair going around your head. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah. It, it was like, it would have been fine if that would have been like a $30 editing job, but it wasn't, it was a lot of money. So like they were charging rights, right? <laughs> the price of a super professional job. So like I was just so mind blown, but we should have known because when it comes to the sub editing Jake was talking about, it's basically a person that knows how to edit who hires beginner editors who are willing to take scraps. Usually I'm not <laughs> saying that's what they got, but like usually, you know, they're starting editors who are like training. So they'll get like way less and they're willing to take way less money because they're entry editors. But then you don't get the quality for what you're paying because now you're working with like sublease. You know what I mean? Like you're paying for the guy's work, the main guy, but you get the subleases work yes. or the sub editors work. Yeah. And they make it sound very pretty. Like, oh, we got a team and da, 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 da. <laughs> like the team's but, all professional, like, like that person. Yeah, but it's not. Maybe it's because they just gave us like, like more entry editors, but it was just rude. Not rude, but it was just, I think really, um, not cool because we were paying like a pretty high amount and for us to just get like a one hour freaking vlog back was crazy so we anyway we sent it back for second revisions and i think they gave it back to us at like what like 35 minutes i'm putting the points together and it makes sense now when i talk to him he's like i live in europe but i live on i live based on uh la time 
which were like what what time we live on. Okay. Now that he says that, his editors were probably from America. You know. What do you mean? Like he said, he he li- he lives on L.A. time. Like he he's up all night in in whatever country he's in in Europe, because it would be our time, dude. But I don't- he had the editors here because they're on our time. He was saying that he was on ours, but it wasn't him. Well, I thought that he was getting people from like out of the country, like like more foreign countries where he could pay like nothing. Less? Yeah. But like, who else would be on L.A. time out of the country? It'd be very few. It'd be people from Canada, like more of Northern America. Man, you're right. I don't know what it is, but. That was the whole thing. They sent it back at like, what, 35 minutes still? And it was just like not like the cut. Because like this is how you know if it's a professional editor or not. Like the cuts between two clips should be seamless. But if you can really like, for example, if there's a um and then a cut and then it goes back to the other one and I'm quiet and then I talk, that's like you don't know how to cut a clip, right? Normally they should have removed the audio and then underlapped it to like make it blend it's like a whole thing but like that's how you yeah, know yeah it's, it's supposed to be see like like she said seamless like you're talking smooth like the only thing the only way you can tell the difference is maybe if like the video cuts like the video looks different like i mean one spot but then, the audio like, shouldn't another. cut yeah the audio should so, seem like normal. yeah it's like this whole thing but yeah we got that video back and then we sent it back with like it was a little bit of your fault though because i literally told you i was like go on frame and send every edit because I, we already paid this damn money, so, like, might as well get our worth. And he was just so mad that he didn't. He only sent, like, the first, what, like, 10 minutes worth of edits. And, and then it said, was fuck probably, it to the rest. Yeah, dude, it was the worst day of my life. Like, I hate revising videos that are so bad. It's just, like, it ruins my day, and I don't want to, like, watch yeah, that video too. ever again. Because it, it just gives me, like, flashbacks of, like, when I, we were... Okay, the STEM, buddy. The sorry, STEM. sorry. It just gives me flashbacks <laughs> of, like, videos back then that we would post and stuff like that, like... Or videos that I watch on YouTube, but I'm like, uh, I don't want to be. You like that. literally just want to throw the video in the trash because the thought of having to re-edit it, even though you already saw this shit project, it, it just sucks, dude. It sucks so bad. It's like literally the worst feeling. And but, so you send all those edits, and then it comes back, and we quit. So we were like, okay, here's your money. Like, thank yeah, you. Yeah, so we much. gave them the money. It's like it's better on our on our side, like to give them the money and like not deal with them and us edit that the rest of the video yeah so we had to go through but the thing was that they put like these subtitles that were huge like they were literally half the screen so we would have to okay, zoom buddy, in you want me to move it no i'm drinking this all right it's because you're fucking up my stem <laughs> and i don't know if you know how expensive this pumpkin is but it's my pride think, and joy oh, oh my yeah that's what you get for your Damn pride it. and joy you took it off the couch Damn it. um no dia and ellie are always trying to fuck with that pumpkin jake is like pulling the nits out it, i don't know how much longer it's gonna last i thought it was gonna last me a few halloweens <laughs> i don't know anymore the stem is fucked up Jake just sat on it right now, broke the stem. <laughs> Before we started the pot, I oh, sat on that pumpkin. Goodness. But yeah, so the the, the the what was it? The subtitles were so big that we'd have to zoom in the whole frame, like zoom in the whole video, in order not to see the thumbnails like on the bottom of the uh, the screen. And it was like weird because you see like zoom in a uh, video for like yeah, two minutes it was straight. So I'm like, bad. Oh. And then another thing is that like for the time lapse and stuff, they left in like a hundred percent of the time lapse. So then when we went in and cut it, the music. Oh, yeah. Was, like, fucked up. Because, like, for example, if you play music over a time lapse, right? And then I decide to cut off that time lapse. The well, music didn't get cut. The music didn't get cut. So now it goes from, like, music at, like, five seconds to music at 30 seconds, which doesn't make sense. Dude, there was this whole thing in that video. Like, we were so upset for a while because we were, like, we should have just edited this shit. And we had the footage and we were debating editing it ourselves. But when after you pay so much money, you're, like, like no, let me just do it myself. I don't know. It like, was this just video was, t- like, turned back to us late, like, we, like, we, we got it back like two or three weeks later. I don't think that long. But no, I, yeah, it was because I remember I wrote this huge paragraph that I was going to send them being like, you know, we've sent you guys like three times of revisions and the same thing keeps happening and it's been like X amount of time. We haven't posted. Da, da, da. <laughs> and you want to know the funniest part? And I never part? sent it because I was like, I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> you want to know the funniest part? The funniest part was when they messaged us back to like, the first one's always a bumpy road. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, like trying to like fix it, whatever, and ask us to send them. An, no, no, ask. Yeah, ask us to send them an, uh, another video. And I'm like, Ain't no way I'm sending you another video. No, I don't video. even feel bad. No, no, no. I do feel bad because I feel like the guy that was editing that just didn't know better. He was given a task that was too big. Like, it needed much more skill than what that person had. Yeah, you're right. It, it was just assigned to the wrong person or there really was never a team. And that was the only person on the team. And that's why that happened. But I don't know. That whole thing was just really bad. And I was like, I'm never doing this shit again. <clears throat> yeah. And then... And then what? We had another video. 
that we used on like what was that one app that we got the editor from that like was still so bad fiverr oh my gosh but i feel like that one was better than the other video wait which one are you talking about from fiverr the one from sebastian like being parents for 24 hours oh no no that's the homie i'm so cool with him oh i tried him out he honestly he wasn't that bad he wasn't that bad he did a couple good edits but he edits for like uh, famous YouTubers overseas, like in the UK, and and their videos are good. He pops off, so I think he was like, "Yeah, hey, I'm gonna take this, this like quick job, uh, easy cash money, like yeah. like that." And I was like, "Um, that result wasn't crazy. The result wasn't the video. Like, I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, I, I wowed over. It wasn't that because his portfolio that he sent those videos were really really good. So he has potential. He does. Oh, he he doesn't have potential. Like he has all the skills in him. Yeah, but he didn't." I don't know. We were a whole different style completely to like what he was used to editing. So I don't even know. Yeah, it's hard because another thing is like when it comes to editors, you got to realize that they're not unless you're the editor that I have right now. Like nobody really cares about and your video because it's not their job. Our editor for Jadley has so many styles of editing, too. She's amazing. And I feel like her style, like he uh, the one that we hired from the, the UK, like that guy, he has that editing style. But our, our Jadley editor could edit for you. And edit for me. Yeah, because she's a girl. That's probably why. That's not. what it comes down to. Because girls are naturally more creative and like they're just amazing. Like I literally what I was like telling Jake the other day was like, I wish that I could grab my editor and like duplicate her because like she is the best person in the world. I'm literally so glad I met her like best, best. Like she when I tell you that she I feel like she believes that my channel is her channel and she'll put her entire effort into it and she doesn't half ass any of my videos any of my videos i remember her portfolio when she sent you it was like she was she was the one of your like being the youtuber remember when she sent like the voiceover and stuff oh my gosh yeah she literally got one of my youtube videos and then she cut it up and then like Did her own that. voiceover like hey i'm gonna be going to sprouts for lunch and this is how it went like, yeah it was like really cool so she basically did that and showed me her skills and i was like oh my gosh boom hired like never letting this girl go i literally like will never let this girl go i really hope she never finds another job in the best way possible <laughs> oh that's messed up. no like i literally hope she stays with me forever i love her um i have so look at here's the thing i have a friend and this sounds messed up so bad, like, but I'm being selfish. He's on the grind of uh, being a streamer, and I, bro, I hope he becomes a streamer. But I don't, because he edits so, so good. Like, his backup plan is being an editor, right? So his since his backup plan is being an editor, if the streamer stuff doesn't work, uh, he said, I think, by December. By December, like, if it doesn't work out for him, if he doesn't get any, like, if he's not uh, positive cash flow, he's going to go, go back to editing. And then I was like... Bro, I hope you go. I hope you can edit my videos. But he's like, nah, I want, I want to stream like my uh, whole thing. And I'm like, nah, I hope you edit my videos. <laughs> but like, it's like I'm praying on his downfall just to like help me get up. But you liked his editing. His editing is super, super good. But I, he's a cool ass streamer. I, I stream with him sometimes. He's cool. And I feel like there's a lot of money to be made if you get to with the cr right creator because there is a lot of creators that will just like, like give you the same pay for the entire life, even if they're making millions. But there is a lot of creators that are very very good you just need to find the right creator who is willing to like truly you know let you grow with them but the main thing is like i feel like we can we can pay our our editors more after we are consistent for a few months like minimum six months because then you yes. gain you gain that positive uh that positive income on your channel to where the point like okay i could i can add another 50 i can add another 100 150 maybe uh, over like the past six months to be able to afford that rather than like, okay, I'm consistent for two months. Now I could add, add more and more and more, but it's not like that. You have to like, gain like the relationship. It just and depends that because like, I feel like the thing is it depends on the editor. Mm -hmm. Like it, it depends because if you know that this editor is so reliable and like, I know that I could like go away for a week and my editor will pull through. Like, I know she will. Like, if we have sponsorships do that same day, guess what? She stays up and she d does them. So, yeah. like, she's the type of editor that, like, I want to bring up with my success. Remember, we had we had our good friend of ours. I think it was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving night, he stayed up, like, all night. And then the next morning, like, the same morning, he pulled the all-nighter. Oh, he yeah. Had to, he had to go with his family out of town. Remember when he pulled that all-nighter for because us? Because we had that sponsorship due. Yeah. Dude, he was going for that. And he did that, that shit for me, too, in Vlogmas, I think. Did he? Yeah. Because wow. I had a sponsorship due, too. 
Yeah, so like and it, it now, just depends. Now he signed to a music label. That's crazy. Yeah, but I'm still salty about him. <laughs> but I really liked him. He watches our podcast every I single really one. I really like. You know him. who you are, bro. I miss you, bro. I miss him too. Like I really do. Like because he edited our Jadley videos like really good. And he was a boy editor, and he had like the creative, like the creativity, like mine. I don't know how to explain it. He was a good editor, dude. Mm. If he could edit Damn for my it. channel, bro, that'd be perfect. He won't, though. Dude, he keeps telling you no. You got to take the hit, bro. <laughs> you bug him every single time. I, all, if you read our text messages, messages for, like, the past year, bro, it's like, uh, how, how, hey, bro, how you doing? Are you, able, are you able to edit my videos? But it's crazy because, like, for the past two years, he was DMing me on Instagram or Twitter or anything. He was like, I, got, I can edit your videos. Like, two years. You and fucked then, up, I, Bro, I never seen one message. Yeah, you fucked up. I was so depressed, bro. Fucked up. So right now, um, well, there's two editors that I actually have to interview um, that we are looking at, and we'll see how that goes. But I will leave the form down below anyways if you guys want to apply. Um, we're pretty good people to work with, I would say. Yeah, I'm, I'm Our really... Our team, like, is really blessed, I would yeah, say. Yeah, we're... That sounds cocky as fuck. What do you mean? Like I said, that our team is blessed. What does that mean? Like that we're really good people. We are really good people, but that that sounded ugly. <laughs> um, no, I feel like we're very easy to work with for the most part. Yeah, like if you need two videos a week, I'll give you two videos a week and stuff. But it's just hard because I need, <laughs> I need like, you have to prove yourself so I could like be like, oh yeah, I could get a video and then send them another video without even worrying about like crazy edits and stuff like that. It just comes down to a reliable editor. But for the most part, I feel like what I struggle with is just the cuts. Like if you have good cuts and like you're not putting subtitles or anything, like the good cuts are what like makes it or breaks it for me. Yeah, I think for an editor to be good like that, they need to really want to learn like taking courses. But the rates can't be crazy, you know. Good editors are already taken by creators. Yes, bro. Um, have different jobs. And then, like, the upcoming creators mm, are charging professional rates because that's what TikTok tells them to do, but they don't have the experience. It's just difficult. But we're we're in that pickle. I'm just, No, you're in that pickle. I'm, I'm in that blessed. pickle. I'm blessed. Dude, For my like, channel, I'm so bro, I'm, I'm unblessed, dude. <laughs> I literally stayed up. I not even stay up, but I had to edit all day for just to have the puppy video. And I hated that video so much because I left in I think what was it twenty seconds of a time lapse. You deserve bro. that. I'm not even gonna. Feel I left bad in for you. twenty seconds of a time lapse with not not no talking, but no music, babe, and it was that, embarrassing. Tell them why because I always tell Jacob I'm like you have to revise the videos every single time. You need to revise the entire video. So I, re- I just decided to skip through it. I was revising my video from like the first minute to I think the sixth minute, and then I skipped to the eleventh minute, and then from there on I oh watched my. it. But from those like whole points, I was like, that's the part I had to uh, add music, add a like stuff, simple stuff to it, and then I didn't add anything. And, and I was thank like, thank God, Damn. nothing bad was in there. Oh Jake. no, 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 nothing bad was gonna was ever gonna be. Here. That's why I scanned for. And then I did. So I was gonna do three revisions. I only did two. The sec on the second revision, oh I put I put markers on it to add music, but I skipped through it and I forgot to add music. But everything is good. Like I wouldn't have put like our address. I wouldn't have put anything. No, that any license n- plates. But you've done that before. You have too. Don't talk. Don't start. What did I leak? I think you've leaked our address before. I have not leaked our address. No, you leaked our address on your you, Instagram story. Oh yeah, you leaked uh, our phone numbers on our on the Instagram post. My my phone number, not yours. <laughs> she leaked her own phone number on Instagram. It was post. on Ellie's post. It was a long ass, but we took it down like two seconds later. Yeah. But you put it. It was on Ellie's collar. That's I don't have that phone number anymore. But like, still, that could have been bad. Yeah, that was bad. That could have been bad. <laughs> um, no, but literally, thank God, nothing bad happened because, like, sometimes we'll leave the camera recording and then we'll just do stupid shit. And I'm so glad nothing happened because you were alone, which is even worse. Because when you're alone, you do like cringe, weird stuff because you're alone, right? So imagine if you would have left something in that was like. So cringe and like. Since we're speaking about editors, I hate when Nat doesn't tell me we're filming or when I don't hear her like beep uh, the beep sound from the camera recording. Like, dude, I bet her editor has has heard me like say the cringiest stuff ever, like embarrassing stuff. Like, bruh, you should have like a like a thing that pops up when you're recording, like a big old red red flag. Like, I'm recording. I'm nah, recording. But she knows it's too good. Like, it doesn't even matter what she sees anymore. She's seen us like do everything on camera. Mm-mm. She I'm saw so, us, she could so, fight the other day. We did fight? Yeah, you got mad. When? What did I get mad about? Because I was making funny jokes in the closet. <laughs> I don't remember. 
<laughs> you got mad and you left. <laughs> elaborate, elaborate, elaborate. No, I can't. Elaborate. Come on. I can't because <laughs> there are people that are also on the internet. I can't do that. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. Remember you talking about Chris Jenner? I do, I do. I remember, but I don't remember what happened. Damn, it's trauma. Oh, you it out? When I got when I got pressed because you were don't saying Don't say don't say what I you well, don't say it, but yeah, that. And then we were recording and then you walked out of the room. And I was like, you got mad bitch. And then I went to the, I went to the You know what? The only the only reason why I was mad is because I knew you were recording. If you weren't recording, I wouldn't have been mad. I don't know why. Like I I think I felt like I don't know. I shouldn't have got mad though, bro. It was, a it was the thing. dumbest thing in the world. Like we were making jokes. Like it's about an old person. Oh, it's about me flirting with an old person, yeah. right? And then, and then you give me like an old, because your old person was like hot. And then you give but me he's Chris, old. And you give me Chris Jenner. No, you said Chris Jenner. You said Chris Jenner can get it. That's what you oh, said. Oh, did I? Damn, yeah, I could have picked someone better. <laughs> yeah, but that shit was so funny. And like, I was dying. It was so funny to me. He took it off, serious. <laughs> and then he got hella mad and went to the bed. And I went to the bed and he was really like mad. And I was like, wait, are you actually mad right now? And I turned the camera off and then he fucking forgot. <laughs> so our editor saw that. But she, I know she's wait, laughing wait, so hard. Who did you hard. say though? Be honest. No, I can't say it on, on no? here. No? I can't say it on here. But um, I know freaking Whisper, she's. Whisper it in my ear. No, no, no. Come on. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I know she's laughing, though. Like, when she watches that footage, because it's funny, because all of a sudden, we're, like, throwing clothes. And then I said that, and then you're like, Chris Jenner can get it. And then I said something else, and then, bam, you left. You just stormed out the fucking room. I was like, you're supposed to be helping me, buddy. Oh, yeah. Doing? Bro, now, I swear, you're a leech. You always make me do labor. Always. Well, I am your boyfriend, though, so. Labor? What uh-huh. do you mean? Like, what? Okay, so... I don't know why, but nap. I know you're good. You're good. It's empty. I don't know why, but nap picks the worst days for me to help her do stuff. Like I'm filming a video this day. What was it? Yesterday, right? I was filming a video yesterday, and she needs me the entire day. Like, no, nah, it was your off day, and I needed to use you for. It something. was my off day, and I filmed the video, huh? It's because what happened was that that morning he was literally walking around the house, just looking <laughs> up and down. Hey, for the past like four days, I've been filming with our couple's channel with a podcast. We've been doing stuff. Jeez. So he's walking around, arms crossed, looking up and down, just playing with the dogs, laying on the couch. And I just, I couldn't bear to see it. So <laughs> I was like, Jacob, closet now. You're like my dad, bro. Whenever my dad would see us playing a video game or like laying down in bed for an extra hour. Hell no, get up. Get your ass up. You're going to clean the uh, the yard or do something. He'd make us do something. So he know we, like he knew we weren't like just sitting around doing nothing. He's so right though. I, I get it. I get it. Why? I but no, I, no, because we literally have the busiest weeks coming up. And like this man is just chilling. Like I'm like, there's always something to be done. And you know what? Okay. Nah, you no. know what gets me mad? What? You can go out. You went out yesterday for two hours, three hours it was for your dinner. One hour. And the, one hour. the day before or the, yeah, the day before you go shopping and you say you went f- to film. I did film. You filmed like a 30 second mo- like the, a cap. montage. Cap, I filmed, me and I filmed a lot in Tilly's. Don't even start. No, but, but I was mad because Jacob has mountains of clothes on the top, in the dryer, in the linens, in on top of Theo's crate. Like you guys have seen this in my vlogs, right? And I'm like, <laughs> you're walking around with your arms crossed when you could be folding your fucking laundry that's been washed for three months do not so i said i was like go to your laundry and then after he was like almost done with his laundry i saw him like playing on tiktok and i'm like all right this guy's almost done I'm like all right closet time so i just had him literally just hold open the bag i just wanted him to like not be walking around with his arms crossed i was like there's always just something to do around the house and jake's very much the type that if it's not like filming or editing off day nothing to do <laughs> like what do you mean bro like his entire room has a, laundry everywhere. It's like a, a what is that a shit house in there, bro? Yeah, but um, do you want to tell them your time frame? Okay, so I have eight weeks from right now to eight weeks. Tell them I have to, for what to clean my room or do something with it. If not, Nat says she's gonna confiscate it. I am going to grab everything in that room and throw it out the window and put a lock on that door, and it is gonna become my vanity room where I get ready, where I do my get ready. I'm literally gonna rip out the carpet. Hey, but I'm no. gonna do. That room is for 100% business purposes only, though. I don't give a shit my room. what it's for. Your I room, have to your, be my hey, vanity your, your room is, too, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is for business like purposes. Pretty, like, right now, this is all business. Like even, bro, we cook and we have to film every time. Yeah. It's all 100%. business. No, but it's just going to be business for me. It's not going to be business for Jake anymore because everything's oh. me thrown out the door. <laughs> he has lost his rights to his room. <laughs> like, Okay, buddy, you can't talk. You're hardly in your own room. In the office, you're it's never babe, in it's there. It's not about how much we use it. 
It's about, it's about the fact that I can't walk in your fucking room without it smelling like 10 counts of bounce okay, that no. ass. Okay, no. You want to know why it smells like 10 counts of bounce that why? ass? So in my room, I have to have the crate where Thea has to get placed in. Nah, it's not that. We agreed to, no, we agreed when we got the house <clears throat> that the first six months, would, Thea would be placed in my, in my room. Okay. After that, she'll be placed in your room. Oh, I'm so glad you brought this topic up. I'm ready to fight. All right. Let's do it. So... <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I want a clean fight. Nothing below the belt, all right? All right, so Jacob <laughs> decided that, you know, he wanted to have the crate in his bedroom for six months, and then it would go to mine for six months. And I was like, cool, fine, I will agree, right? So then the thing started happening where um, Jacob's irresponsibility was destroying my office. And if you guys don't know this, my office is actually remodeled, and I spent days on it i spent lots of money and my office is truly always beautifully clean and organized and smells like candles and it's be please second this yeah it does You're okay right. it's always super organized i have my chargers where they need to be I second I have my and pens. third this i have my highlighters everything is super super organized right okay so then thea went in there for a few times and and then shit started to get fucked up bro fast. and that's how my room smells like but dussy fast <laughs> fast so then right jacob Mr. Jacob over here, um, the other day, <laughs> Oh after, my gosh, I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So this is why Thea will no longer ever be in my room again, because Jacob has created this problem against himself. So before we were leaving to Disneyland, um, well, first, the first incident was where Thea ripped up my entire door, chewed through it, almost went through the fucking door. And the door. carpet. And the carpet. But I cut the bottom, and, I, put, I cut the carpet so it doesn't look bad no more. It was the worst, and that was the first, like, mess up to my office, right? Anyways, let it slide, and then... I told Jacob the day that we were going to Disneyland, I said, Jacob, get the crate out of the closet because don't you worry. He stores that damn crate in my closet because guess what? He doesn't have a closet doors because he ripped them out and decided to never put any in. So he stores the crate inside of my closet. And I was like, that's fine. But before you leave to Disneyland, you need to go up to the room, take the crate out, set it up, put the in the crate and then put Ellie in the office and then shut the door. Stop capping. You just told me to place the girls. I have the messages. Okay. So what the fuck does that mean then? So I didn't take it in like consideration of me getting in me, me getting the the crate and putting it in your room. I just Do you know like, what place means? Because Thea knows, I know and Ellie knows. So why is it that you don't know what <laughs> <laughs> That purpose was coming up for like ten seconds. I don't know if you noticed. Damn, I'm never Jacob, drinking are this you again. Trying to get a, get, are you trying to get around what the whole argument that I'm trying to pull up right now? You guys Come like on. my can? Come on, buddy. <laughs> Why don't you know place? You know place. You know damn well, but yeah, you so were place, being lazy. Place means like put them in the crate and then close the door. Okay. So he knew that, but he was being so lazy. So I had stormed out the house. We no, were no, in no. a rush. We were in a no, rush. No, no, no. I don't give a shit because <laughs> you had enough time, but you woke up late. I woke up so early. I got up. I did my makeup. I did my braids. And I literally left this house so early, ready for Disneyland. And I was like, make sure that you place the girls and then you close all the doors. And everything's ready. And then go pick me up at the rock, wrap shop because it was the day that I was doing the wrap for the car. Okay, well, Jacob over here decided to not listen to Nat for the millionth time in the, you know, the whole time. <laughs> so he didn't place the girls. I, he just threw Thea and Ellie in the room and shut the door and trapped them in there, knowing damn well what Thea did the last time she was trapped in there. So guess what? I, as soon as he picks me up from the wrap, I was like, you place the girls, right? He's like, yeah. And I was like, Thea's in her crate, right? And he's like, oh, no. As if you live with your boyfriend or like if you're a girl with a man, like you understand the rage this causes in you after you've told him to do something specifically because you know what can be the consequences of it. And he knew the consequences too. And then they don't do it. It's like, am I a joke to you? Like, what the f So I'm like, Jacob, I already know what is going to happen. I'm going to come home. There's going to be no door. There's going to be no carpet. There's going to be no desk. I just knew. So I'm literally stressed out. Like I'm literally, and we have guests. So like, I'm trying not to be mad because obviously we have guests here, but I'm literally furious because I had told him to do it because I know. So I call my neighbor and I'm like, Hey, you know, Jacob didn't do this. So can you please go over to my house and set up the crate? And like, this is such a, this crate is heavy. Like you don't just ask anyone to go to your house and set up this fucking big ass crate. This is a whole house. It's like 40 pounds. Dude, it's big. And it's like a whole process to set it up. And she was literally like really far from us. And she had to drive home. So the dogs had to be locked in there for like at least another hour. And I'm like, fuck. So anyways, an hour goes by. She places the dogs. And then she leaves. And he also, it, I'll get into that after. So then she leaves. We come home at night. And I didn't see it at night because it was too late. And I was just, it, I couldn't see it at night. The next day, I walk into the room and I look on the carpet. 
And I'm seeing a lot of um white like, stuff, like, like paint, like white and like wood stuff, like around everywhere. And I look at my desk. And I'm like, it wasn't my desk. I'm looking around. And the door's and wide then, open. Yeah, the door's open. So like the back of the door is towards the wall. So I, and it's been like this. So I, I look at the door and I see slobber on the door and on the side. So you know where the door closes, like around the frame of the door, not the door itself, but the, the door frame. I see that the whole thing is chewed up. <laughs> And I look at the door, and it has slobber on the glass, and I fucking knew. I open the door, and it is ripped to <laughs> shreds. Like, Thea almost cut through the entire door. Like, she was pawing the door and everything. And eating it. Uh-huh. Eating it, because she had her little, her little teeth marks. So, the same thing that happened the first time just happened all over again, because Jacob decided to not listen to Nat, per usual. Um, so, that is the reason why the girls are no longer in my office is because um, Jacob's irresponsibility has ruined my room to a degree that I literally... Oh, wait a minute. Not Doesn't stop there. He also left the Dyson on the floor in the same room that he left the dogs in. So, when we came back, Thea ate the piece of the Dyson. The Dyson, guys. Like, the, the freaking expensive-ass vacuum that Nat literally bought and was like my pride and joy. He left it on the ground and then left the dogs in there with all the little attachments. So when Thea ate the attachment... The most important attachment that connects the vacuum to the motor. If you watch my YouTube video, you've seen it. So you can't use the vacuum because that freaking part is chewed up. (laughs) So we're down a door, a frame, a vacuum. We're down like two grand. Nah, not two grand. Because Jacob doesn't listen to me. Not two grand. Do you know how much that door is? You don't have to replace the whole door. We have to sand it down and paint it. We... Yeah. We? Uh-huh. You're going to call my dad to come do it, and then I have to pay my dad. It, like, it, it always just falls on Oh, how does, that, how does that equal two grand, though? Because the vacuum is $1,000. I don't know if you knew that or not. But the middle piece? Mm-hmm. How much is the middle piece? Oh, you can't buy the middle piece. They sent it to us because it's under warranty. Thank God. But, like, in about uh, three weeks, it's done. Because I bought it for the new house. Oh, so if you're you, right. Oh my gosh, the whole di- let me take guys the Dyson story. Now that we're on, wait, like, wait, what the Dyson hate story? Jacob what Club. what Dyson story? We're on the Hate Jacob Club, so let's talk about it. Okay, we can talk about so, the Hate Knack Club after. Yeah, yeah, we can start with that one. I after. bet. So, <laughs> time a thousand that Jacob Macias doesn't listen to Nali Cuevas. Here's what happened. So this piece has been broken, and I've been bugging Jacob. Jacob, you have to buy a new piece because we need to vacuum the house <laughs> because we have dogs. Jacob, please buy the piece. Ja- and Jacob just doesn't listen to me ever. A week um, later, I bought it. No, no, no. Jacob does not listen to me ever. So, like, I'm literally telling him. He's like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. Never does it. And it <laughs> days and goes by and weeks, whatever. It gets to the point where I'm like, dude, like, this house is, dis- like, we have golden retrievers. Like, we need to va- vacuum the house. I'm like, Call Dyson right now, like right in front of me. Stand here right now and call Dyson, right? And he goes, I'm just going to email them or I'm going to look for the piece online, okay? So he looks for the piece online and then orders the piece, right? (laughs) Anyways, three days later, a piece comes in and guess what? It's the wrong fucking piece because he didn't call to make sure. So, and this was like after like an hour of him looking on the internet for the piece, Dude, and it was so it, wrong. it was so hard to find the exact piece. I don't think they sell it to the public. I think like you have to go to Dyson.com. It's almost like I just or said like that right call now. Dyson. Yeah, yeah. So he got the wrong piece. So now we're in for another week, and I'm livid. And I'm like, Jacob, get the right piece. And he doesn't call for a few days. No, no, act- no, no, no. I called the same day. You after, did not. After we he called no, for a nah, few days. Nah, listen, don't, listen. Don't, don't mix the story up. I'm not. Okay, brother. I said brother, you need to get brother. the new piece, and he literally didn't do it. And days went by, and then I was like, Jacob, have you ordered the new piece? And he was like, no, let me let me try to find the part number. And I was like, no, no, no. Call Dyson. Natalie Cuevas. Call You're Dyson. lying out of your ass right now. It's, no, no, no. It was the same day. It was not the same it day. It was the same day. We tried to fit it in. In a perfect in. world, it would have been we, the same no, day. No, no, no. We tried to fit it in, and we were like, it's not the right piece. And I told you. So that's okay. when we had a call. That You you told me to stand in front of you and call right there. Oh, sorry. I forgot the part that the actual Dyson piece was delivered to our mailbox, and I picked it up, and it was flying around my car for days because Jacob decided to never go get <laughs> the damn piece. So we were never able to fit it to the damn vacuum. Okay. So anyways... He's like, okay, I'm going to try to find the part. <laughs> and so I'm like, no, you're not. You're going to call Dyson <laughs> because we already tried to try to find the part. And did it didn't work. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm, I'm going to look for the part. I'm like, you're going to call Dyson. I don't want to call Dyson. You're going to call Dyson. I don't want to. I'm just going to look for the piece. And I look at him. Why are you acting like I was yelling? Yes, you were. You were so mad because you didn't want to call because you're the most anti-call, which we'll get into because there's way more calls that you have to make. Because I don't talk to, I don't speak well. Y'all can tell. I hate calling. So how are you going to get better? 
by calling. By so podcasting. I made him so I made him call, right? I don't know how, but he was so mad, literally fighting with me. And I was sitting right there more mad than he was because he's trying to argue with me after like I know he's not gonna find the part. So he calls and the girl's like, Oh yeah, yeah, like let me FaceTime you. She and she finds Bro, the part. They FaceTime on yeah. that Dyson thing. I was like, what the To be able to see what piece it was. And, and you don't wanna know what she did. So she's like uh, if you don't mind me asking, how how did the park get oh, like yeah, that? I, I was like my dog, that. and then I'm I'm showing her the 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 piece that's like all ripped up and chewed up, and I flip it to the dog, and she goes, <laughs> she she laughed, and it's just Ellie just like looking at the camera. She's like, <laughs> I was laughing, but I was like, oh, honestly, I was like a little bit scared. Oh, because after she said that, she was like, oh yeah, I have that piece. I'll I'll find it for you or whatever. And she's like, um, how did it happen? And then you said the dog, and then you're like, how much is it gonna be? All scared, right? Because these bitches are expensive. She's like, oh, it's covered under warranty. He looks at me I with this like, face <laughs> of relief, and I look at him like, "Fucking throw the shit at you right now!" Because we could have done this since the beginning. But and I had to buy another piece. You, yeah, he spent money buying that other piece that now he has to return, but he'll never return because Jacob will never go print the label, take it. It just won't. Go happen. look for it. Go look for it. T took it. What piece? The the part that didn't fit. Put it on me right now. <laughs> the, like it's just too good to be true. So he got the piece for free, and he got it shipped. Da -da! No, that's not it. Bam. Order gets canceled a day later. Oh, and then I have to scream at this man for a 20th time in the car to call because he let he literally the order got canceled and he didn't do anything about it. And when we were in the car today coming back because I went to go get my lashes done and he was on the couch on fucking TikTok when there was so much stuff to do. And then I'm, I'm on the way back. I'm like, did you ever <laughs> call the um, house company that the garage fell on our fucking forehead? And it's been a month and our warranty is about to void. Did you call Dyson because that piece got canceled? And and did you call the people that are supposed to come check the fire sprinklers? If not, we have to pay three hundred dollars because we missed the appointment. Oh, he hadn't called to any. So then he did all the calls when we were in the car. <laughs> so it, it's just, um, he was able to get the piece, thankfully, for free. Now, after, right? Yeah. They shipped it? Yeah, they, they shipped okay. it already. I got the order confirmation. Perfect. And we got an appointment for the garage that fell on our forehead. Tomorrow morning, bro. Oh, perfect. And, and. Rescheduled the fire extinguisher Wow. Shit. Yay. <laughs> yes. Finally, we did it. <laughs> only like for three, the three weeks <laughs> for the house it was over a month it was when we were going to seattle that it fell you're out right it. yeah the house was and we wild. went to seattle in july and it's september so i'm very much happy that that was finally had <laughs> no I Me too, dude. You. it's like a big relief because now I, I only have a couple things on my plate that i gotta do instead of like a thousand it's just <sighs> like you just gotta do it you know you just gotta sit down i just hate it. talking on the phone bro it's the only way because nobody takes you seriously through And you emails. have to be a Karen. Because if you're not a Karen, you're not going to get your stuff like handled your way. They're going to be like, all right, bottom of the line. Bottom of the list. You just have to call, babe. You just have to stop like saying I'll do it later. <laughs> okay, not hate club. What do you have to hate about me? There's nah, nothing to hate about nah, me. Nah, I love you too much, bro. I won't hate you. No, hate me. I want to hear it. I hate me too. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> you hate yourself? You just have nothing on me, Jacob Macias. I do. Okay, tell me. What do you have on me? Hmm. Is this like a rat? I don't really want a rat podcast. Oh, yeah? No, I don't. He has nothing on me. That's why. If he, if he had anything on me, the one thing he has on me is that I almost ran over these girls at the freaking mall the other day. But because oh he wasn't God. with me, he, he's not talking about it. But this man has nothing on me. I get everything done on time. I get everything done. Wow. Nat told me she almost ran over three girls, bruh. I you would have been in two, jail. Actually. You don't even know how many girls it was. I don't remember. That shit blocked So me. you know how you're driving and there's like these the two, I don't know, the, like the things that hold the windshield. Like it's like the, there's one on the left and one on the right. What are those called? <laughs> I don't know. But like there's like, like pillars, little pillars that go across. Like yeah. that's a blind spot because it's right in front of you, but like to the, to the sides. And the bigger the car, the bigger the fucking pillar. Because yeah. I know my parents' Tahoe, that thing's massive. Yeah, so it's like a blind spot right in front to the left and right in front to the right. And now I was driving in the, like, the mall, the shopping mall, and she's driving straight, but they're walking close, so she can't see. And she's <laughs> all the way down driving. <laughs> I already know now. Like, now you got the seat all the way up and all the way down. You're just like like a granny driving. And then Taylor, who you're with at the time, is like, yeah. wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. But Nat just goes I just, right past And them. I just see the girl and like... They were, <laughs> and they were like inches of getting hit. Like I, I swear they're just handing out, handing out stuff to uh, driver's licenses. Oh, yeah, that was a moment. Honestly, so glad I didn't hit that girl. It Dude, was too. It was like a mom, I think, and a daughter. No, <laughs> they would have got a fat. Check. And it's funny because the people, like the cars that were coming, like they were stopped. I don't know why I was just not looking. Yeah, dude, that could have been. This is you, bad. you with your friends. You're not the same person. 
Yeah, I think I was just lazy. so I was so interested in the conversation. I don't know what we we're talking about. Probably talking shit about someone. You guys are always talking shit. It's always about like Jacob and Danny though. Always. Yeah, because I'm a W boyfriend because I don't talk shit about you. You don't talk shit. There's nothing to talk shit about me. Yeah, there Babe, is. I'm going to beat your fucking ass. See, this is why I talk shit about you. So I bought these for... No, I didn't buy them. I got these stickers for my birthday of golden retrievers that I'm supposed to decorate my laptop with. And he just put them on an Alani new that goes Bro, in the Bro, why would you say the brand name? That's the whole point. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Babe, All right, those just are rip my off, Let's just rip off these stickers because you said the brand no, name. No, stop. Already. Those are... Look. If this video is not sponsored, I'm not taking it serious. I'm taking it super serious, actually. Jay, those are my stickers. I picked the ones that you wouldn't use. What are you talking about? That was a weaking golden retriever. <laughs> Fuck you. Why would you do that? I oh like my how you, gosh. Dude, this podcast is so funny because it's like a rant about me and I. And like, I'm totally on your side, bro. Like, bro, Jacob, get it together. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's funny. This is not funny when you're on my end, though. Dude, it, it's funny a little, but then it gets like, bruh. No, no, I'm 100% like on your side. Bro, I don't like, I get this stuff together. I swear, I need, I need some assistance, bro. You need an assistant? <laughs> you know like, what? I'm going to hire you an assistant. I need an assistant to like slap you, like get in check. Pow. Like That's one of what those. I'm for. <laughs> but you don't hit hard. No, I don't hit you. Do not. No, Tell no, she him I don't hit you. She doesn't hit me. No, not. I'm serious. <laughs> Tell him I don't hit you. <laughs> she does, bro. And if she did, she wouldn't hit hard enough. <laughs> no. Now, I tell Nat. Okay, if you, if you guys know like eight, I don't know, no shade, Aiden Ross, but Aiden Ross, you suck like like a like a like a ten year old. Have you seen how he socks? Like he was fighting Jake Paul and like Dylan Danis, whatever Dan Danis, whatever his name is. But he's like you suck harder than him. I swear. You don't know how but I that's suck. Like, that's how you suck. You you go like this. She sucks with her thumb out and everything. Just <laughs> and I'm like hit me hard. <laughs> like a little 10 year old kid oh yeah buddy oh my gosh this morning i went into my freaking car and i got a freaking um everything bagel with some cream cheese and i drove to my last check and then i told jacob to hold my bag with cream cheese and tell me why later when i get in the car my cream cheese is smeared all over my freaking rug on the passenger side that was my last straw and i have signed out for the day because of that what my cream cheese? It wasn't spilled anywhere. It was, it was just smeared. upside down. No, oh, that's you. Smeared. Oh, did you clean I it up? I cleaned it. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. It fell out of the bag. <laughs> you know how mad I was, bro. But you, it's just like Natalie Cuevas. If you're gonna get cream cheese and a bagel, get your bag in your trash and throw it out. Your car gets the messiest. Your car is the messiest out of everyone's car all the time now. Really? Mm-hmm. You wanna know why? Why? Because you get in it. <laughs> That's not even the That's case. That's exactly what it is. Oh, it, I think it is the case because you're just like, all right, you get your trash, just hand it to me. And I, I just put it on the floor. Like, I'm not we, a trash can. We cleaned out the trash two times today. Not by we, by we, I literally said, give me all the trash, Jakey. And then I went in and I threw it all away. Don't, 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 don't say that, okay? I keep my shit. You know what? I don't want to get started on the booty smelling truck, okay? When you try to sell that fucking truck, <laughs> they're going to deduct Five to ten thousand dollars for the ass smelling, all right? I hope you know. It doesn't smell bad, but and I'm not gonna get into why it smells like that because it's fucked up and I'm gonna get canceled. But you know damn well. You know why? how like a work truck smells like people going going to work? Well, it smells like a uh, like a like a group of kids, like teenagers, like driving in a car. It, it smells like a group of guys that went in there and then marinated and then it soaked into the leather, and now it smells like. Ass. And I need to change my air filter, bro, because my air filter it smells like what's that? Like the moldy, not mold, but like uh, mildew. Like I don't know, it smells nasty, like an older car. I hate it. <laughs> and my car doesn't smell bad, bro. You pop a you pop a little tree and you're the good. Other <laughs> <laughs> the other day, not the other day. It's been like four months of this, so this car has been smelling like ass for months. Anyways, I took um Taylor, my friend, in there, and when she got in it, she was like. <laughs> She couldn't believe it. She was like, what's that smell? I was like, yep. Welcome oh, but, but, to but the boy she, car. No, when she did get in it, I had like all my clothes from the weekend oh and everything. Oh my gosh. So Don't it was bad. It was bad. The, the clothes. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was like living in my car, but I wasn't living in it. He was just messy and wouldn't take his clothes off of his car. Bro, it's because I, when I do road trips to go visit my family, I go the more, like the day, the night before, like 8 p.m., 7 p.m., whenever, come back the next night. It's like one day. Film, see my family, come back the same, Babe, the same but day. but that's not an excuse look because it, look it. I And I'm about... tired, and I'm tired after the two-hour drive, and I'm like, I'm not even going to go in the back seat and grab everything that I took. 
It's like take a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, and then it takes about three months till Nat goes in there and it's like, why is your entire like duffel bag in here and like just clothes and clothes and clothes? So it's not like you get tired and then you take it out the next day, Jake. You just never take it out, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. I can say the same about you. If we go do a car check right now, your car is bad. Yeah, it's you always have target bags and shit. <laughs> hey, Jake, that's a fucking lie. I always later, send you to go la- get them. Two days later, yeah, exactly. Two days later, hey Jake, can you go downstairs and go get me the <laughs> the? And I'm like. And I'm on the third floor with you. You make me go all the way down to the first. As you should. And then all the way back That's up. That's a man's job. <laughs> what the? Okay, do not acknowledge her. No, don't, don't. Um, no, but I think that that's the thing, though. Because I send you to take all the stuff out of my car. Like, whenever I get home from, like, a Target trip or whatever, I take everything off in that moment so it doesn't pile up. Because if you let it for, like, one or two days, goodbye. It'll be there for weeks. Yeah, you need to take it out in that moment. Even, like, when we go home from road trips... Like, if we don't take the stuff out right then and there, it'll be there for a while. So, I think it just comes down to, like, you are tired afterwards and then you're just like, I'm never going to take it out. But the thing is also that I feel like because you don't have other people in your car here other than me and I go in the front and I'm not in the back so I don't nag you for it. Like, if I would have to go in the back, that shit would be spotless. If if I had passengers in the back uh, pretty often, then I'd clean the back all the time. Now that's cap. You know what? Sometimes, like, Jake would take the truck to uh, Bakersfield. And Joel would try to get on in the back. Bro, he would, they would take, get trash bags and throw out all the stuff that had Jake has in his truck and then put it in the garage. That's why a lot of my stuff goes missing because. Because it's your stuff. No, bro, you no, swear. listen. So nah, one time I had this Your like, stuff is like a junk in my car all of the, all the time. Okay. So one time I had this tripod that I let Jake borrow, right? And it just piled up in his, um, he wanted to borrow a tripod because Jacob does not own a tripod for YouTube. So I was like, here, you can use mine this weekend. So I gave it to him. I'm like, here, take it. <laughs> And because he had so much junk in his freaking truck, he he went to Bakersfield and they got a trash bag and put all their shit in there. And I never saw my tripod again. So I I don't know where it is. I've been like 20% of your belongings are in my dad's garage. Dude, you know how fucking disgusting and like just rude that is? Like all the, oh, you know how disgusting and rude it is? Leave it in my car. What do I leave in your car? Yeah, I bet you have like a couple of dresses in my car. You have a couple of your one pair of heels, like all that stuff. Yeah, because I'm tired after a long night and I have oh, heels. Buddy. So my man Boo-hoo. can take it out of the freaking truck. Boo-hoo. <sighs> cry me a river. She's going to cry you a river. Okay. Stop it. No, 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 no. I just want to no, get her, no, Jake, get her no, reaction. No, 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 no. <laughs> she's going to pull the our, wire, pull the cables. Our white dog right now is complaining. I don't know why she's complaining. I think she's Yeah, hungry. go lay down. Go lay down. You stop saying the H word. You said her name. Go lay down, baby. No. <laughs> Can I get her input real quick just no, for the no for inputs. the pod? Come on, we oh got it. Oh my gosh, okay, but be careful because what? she's gonna pull the cord right there. Okay, tortilla, what do you want? No, okay, wait, wait, okay what do you I'm want? done. Yeah, yeah. Look at he just didn't listen to me, and this, it just <laughs> happened on camera. Thank it's you. It's funny because she sneaks up on here, but look at her. <laughs> if you're watching, if you're watching the podcast, she's funny because she knows she's not supposed to be on the couch, and she gets her paws like slowly. So and then she she'll pull the wires here. though, and it's gonna break the the freaking thing. Yeah, she's she's like a whole new animal. I swear, she's not a dog. She's a human. Tell him what she was doing the other day. Remember when she was like a human? Oh, she waits. I have treats in my room, so my room's a mess right now. It's crazy, especially because I'm right now. I'm doing a lot of stuff right now. Yeah, <laughs> you need to stop. I'm gonna beat you up, bro. <laughs> I'm just so excited to have that as my vanity room. Dude, I'm so <laughs> You're not having it. Bro, on and the then, seventh on the seventh week, dude, I'm cleaning it up. And you know, up. and you know, <laughs> the, the seventh week on the sixth day, <laughs> you fucking brat. And then you I'm going to be in the process of doing it. Like, while I'm in the process, it's already eight, the eight weeks I've been up, but since I'm in the process, you're going to excuse literally, me. Dude, literally, it's funny because on the podcast, we've been talking about how, like, oh, yeah, Jake's going to read. It started off as, like, Jake's going to redo is, his room. This has been, like, on the talk since, like, January, February. No, but I'm, no, way before that. And I'm so glad it's documented because then people always think, like, nah, you nag him too much. No, bro. He literally has <laughs> been saying for months. We've had the house for a year this month. A year. And this man was fighting fight like when i tell you fighting like little kid fighting because he wanted a room right and i was like yeah that's fine like go ahead have it right i'm like i'll have an office and then you have yours you but you give me a room and half the stuff is yours literally half the half the uh, the room is your pc setup jacob i have take your take your pc setup out and i'd have so much more room so you're and then i'll clean it up so you're (laughs) (laughs) it would be so clean if your stuff wasn't in there i fucking hate you because literally all I have in there is my monitor from a like big when ass I game. Desk, a big ass computer, a big ass monitor. It is not my. Literally, I told you that the desks were the problem. You need to buy one IKEA desk. You know, I'm not giving you ideas. You know, I'm not for free. 
pay me and then I'll give you my <laughs> idea. You don't pay me for labor. Dude, bro. you know what? You know what? Do you guys remember that time where Jacob was like, Yeah, I'm gonna bring my dad out here. He's gonna do some like wood stuff, so cool in my room. Nah, so it was supposed to be my uncle, and then when my uncle was re- like not busy, and I'll, I have like seen him like four times since then. He's and like I've never mentioned it, and um, he's like, I think the second time he mentioned, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'll be ready in, in this weekend, so I'll, I'll text you. He didn't text me, bro. You weren't ready. It's gonna take you at least a month to declutter that rat hole. Get all the rats out of there, the spider webs. Like literally, go in there with some raid. Get the cockroaches out there. Like, good luck, buddy. You got some work to do in that room. Okay, bro, you're making it seem like that room's crazy. Oh, it's so bad, it's just, guys. It's just a lot of clothes and literally all clothes. That's all it is. No, guys, it's an actual rat hole in there. Like literally, you go like to the desk and you go like this dust, but like not your average like daily dust. It's like dust of shit it's just so bad bro i do that to your i do that to your armpits and it's still dust <laughs> and i get ra- I, I get cut from all the hair that's there <laughs> it's like getting like razors so, like, so you're anti like females oh my look hair? at you trying to gamble that's me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wait so i thought you were gonna do a hate nat train what happened no i was joking because you have nothing on me nah you're pretty perfect bro you, you're a good no, job I'm a, pretty, you're, I'm a pretty bad person too you're a good human being though no no i'm a bad you just human. have it you just haven't been cleaning a bit. Fuck you. What? What have I not there's been cleaning? There's dishes in there and I've been doing them for because quite a while. Because you want to know why there's dishes? Because you decided to be a chef yesterday and said, fuck the dishes. Because, because I'm chasing the bag. Uh-huh. Okay, well, chase the dishes too. <laughs> right <laughs> after the fucking bag. Because you got about 30 pans in there, buddy. And those are my good pans. So don't let them marinate in that nasty chile verde juice. Because it's going to soak in. <laughs> You're going to be making some, like, protein pancakes that taste like chili pepper. Yeah, no, bro. That shit's expensive. You better. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that's going to bring a whole other rage in me. It's fine. <laughs> just make sure you do that. <laughs> bro, I feel like so many people are going to take offense to you going off, but it's just funny. Oh, like- yeah. Every time. Every time. But it's funny, like, because I feel like we do this to each other all the time and off camera. People, people in relationships know, though. Like, they know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone that gets upset is either, like... Not in a real relationship. And what I mean by real is like they're either in a high school one or they're in the honeymoon stage of one or they haven't lived together. We've been living for almost three years. Like we've passed passed the argument stage. We've passed all these stages. And we're just like used used to each other. And we always like are, what is it? Like mocking each other. Like it's just funny. I like this part of our relationship. I think so too. It's funny as fuck. Especially when we like recap on these moments. Because (laughs) no, in the moment, dude, it drives me nuts. No, it's like you guys just know, right? But the people who are in real relationships get it. Like they'll they'll always understand it. And it's funny because everybody that like all of my friends are in real relationships, they like we'll have conversations about this stuff and like we literally are like, yeah, like men are the worst thing ever. But they love their man. Like the same way that like I literally love you so much I don't ever see myself with anybody else. But it's funny because every single guy is the same and you could literally say the same thing about girls and everything, all of my flaws. Like if you go and talk to your friends about their girls that like if they're in real, real relationships, like they're going to say the same thing because it's just like traits that you have, but it's cool to not feel like you're alone in it. And I feel like a lot of people that do watch our podcast like are like, oh my gosh, like literally my man is the same way. And it's like you can relate and not feel alone and like the fact that your man is not broken, he's just just a man he's just a fucking guy and every guy you know there is some tweaks we were talking about this the other day that there's some guys that are very neat and very organized and then some that the girl is the one that's like but there's really, all but there's always like pros and cons like you can get a, like a nice guy but he lacks in some areas you can get like a a neat guy a hard-working guy but he lacks in the nice areas like stuff like that you know yeah yeah you definitely can't win it all but for the most part i feel like men are very much like oh my god like the tiktoks where it's like I just want to come home and relax. And I hear this agitating voice. Have you seen that TikTok? I, yeah, I, and it's like the girl's aesthetic is so pretty. And then the guy has like a fucking PC disgusting setup or whatever. Like, it's just like girls can very much connect on the fact that like we're like one way. And then guys are like literally just opposing to that. Like, I think there was this TikTok that I reposted. I follow this girl on TikTok. I think I've talked about her before, but she basically does videos where she like mocks her husband and will like show everything her husband does that drives her fucking nuts. Oh. And everybody in the comments literally is just men that are mad because guys don't <laughs> like to like, they don't like they to don't hear like seeing it. them wrong. Like they don't like the publicity of what they do, you know, like that. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. I feel like it's very much like men that are very like toxic masculinity. And so their, their comments like, y'all don't ever know what to complain about, da, 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 right? It's just stupid as fuck. But anyway, she does TikTok and they're so funny because she'll be, tell stories about how like 
you know, the guy's like, where did you leave this? And she's like, well, I didn't touch it because if I would have touched it, it would have been where it needs to be. But because you touched it last, good luck finding it, right? <laughs> but it's funny because she'll, like, really make, like, it just makes you feel like you're not alone in the, like, men are very much children vibe. And I feel like we know that, like, you guys are going to start uh, start nagging about certain things, too, though. There was a TikTok that I seen, and then he, it was a, a TikToker, and he, he was asking, like, an older guy, he's like, uh, if you were a girl for a day, what's the first thing you, you'll do? And then the, the old man was like, start bitching. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to start bitching. And they, the kid didn't understand what he meant, but it's funny because, like, I know what he meant. He's like, I'm going to start bitching. It, dude, it's true because every girl nags the way that, like, like me saying on the podcast right here is obviously I'm, like, exaggerating a lot of it to make it funny. But. Told y'all. Y'all like, thought I was lying. I like, wasn't. What? About what? By you exaggerating. Oh, no. The Dyson situation was very much true. That's about it. No, no, no. It wasn't. Oh, do you want to talk about the stamp situation? Uh, you know what? I just don't have the energy the for it today. The one dollar stamps that you don't that find. You lost? find your, that you can't find, find yourself or go to the post office and get real quick. Uh-huh. Jacob, Those I literally, $1 stamps. I had to get Taylor by me a whole new two pair of sets of stamps because we're out of them because you lost. You know, I'm I used even- I used three of, and we only have like six. I used three of them. So you're complaining about two stamps. Goodness. So there's nothing that you, keep on, rant about me. I want to hear how bad of a person I am. Nah, you're not a bad person, but you're just, you have bad hygiene, bro. The other night I was smelling your hair and that, oh, did we talk about Can last podcast? Can we talk about the hair mask? Because you're literally making me sound like I'm a dirty fucking bitch. Go and tell them what it was. Bro. I hop under the sheets because I'm laying with Nam about a cuddle. It's pretty like it cold still outside. Smells like it. I hop under the sheets and my arms are open. So when I when I open like the no the no blankets, I think we did talk about it. Okay, well I open the we're gonna talk about it again. When I open the blankets, <laughs> my arms are open and I smell like this bo smell like body odor. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna close the blankets and I'm hop out so she doesn't wake up or nothing. And then later in the night, I I uh, flip over again and I forget about it and I'm like, I smell. I'm like, damn, it still smells bad. And then the next morning, that's when you tell me like your hairs. As a whatever mask, like, bro, you're covering up where you're not showering this. And I'm like, bro. Do not, Jacob. I was do just confused because not. I don't think a hair mask can make you smell that bad. What does it do? Do not. Is it like, is it like a. My s- hygiene is really good. Please do not go over here and say that every single okay, morning, wait, wait, every count, single night. Do you count hygiene as like shaving, doing your hair, shaving? Okay, you're just shaving. shaving? <laughs> Because, bro, you don't. It's because I, I feel like I have, to re, I have to remind you uh, that, like, you're getting more hair than me and I'm getting embarrassed, all right? That is so rude. So, you don't like, like, women with hair, even though, like, they feel confident in their own body? Yeah, be confident. But I'm not confident that you got more hair than me. I'm, 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 this I'm is unconfident. very misogynistic of you. <laughs> oh, the one thing in my in my whole life that I ever said that's misogynist. Um, <laughs> no, it's man. because the it's because the razor is kind of annoying. But no, like I bought you a dope setup, and babe. I have like thirty scrubs, like thirty body washes every day. I smell different. I brush my teeth every single time before I go to bed. Every single time I wake up, I literally don't even go out of my room before I brush my teeth, wash my face, and do my skincare. Please back it up. But yeah, you, you're a dick. You better but back you it don't up. wash your hair every single day. No, I don't wash my hair every single day. But I At will least say, put like the shampoo thingy, the fake one. I do a cologne for your hair. <laughs> That's what it is, bro. No, you're being a brat because I literally. Oh, today I took Jake to get his nails done with me because again, I literally hygiene is like the number one thing where I feel like it's very attractive and you need to have. Like I literally carried deodorant with me in every single bag in every single car. Like I need to make sure that we smell good. So I took him to get um a uh, man. Let me see your nails. Slay, you look. You guys see that? That's crazy. No, I'm, I'm number one. You That's literally why. look so pretty, babe. Wow, so clean. Cuticles are clean. Everything's clean. What I are love cuticles? It. It's like that white um skin that grows onto your skin. Oh, bro, that's the one that she was she was going all up in there, bro, yeah. like pinching me so hard. I'm, I was about to like when she was pinching, I was just gonna uppercut <laughs> her real quick. No, she left you look looking really really good. I feel like I'm going to take you from now on. Every single time I go get my nails done, you're going to come too because I think it, your nails look really good. Nah, they're taxing $170 for Manny's and Petty's. $170 divided by two. It's not that bad. I don't know. That's like 85 bucks each. Yeah, but you're literally there for like three hours. Oh, that's 85 bucks each. I pay $60 for my haircut. That's not bad. That's not bad. Wow. I'm dumb. I pay $60 for a haircut. And you do that shit every week. This is once a month. I haven't done it in a week, and I'm not going to do it for another two. Wow. That's crazy. Ooh, Jake is going on a trip. I'm going on a trip. I don't know. I just got to evolve my channel a little bit, so we're taking a little road trip. You guys will see in his next video. He's going to... No, it's not a road trip. You're flying out there. 
A fly trip? What's that called? It's just a trip. A so business like, trip. He's going to go out there and do some content for you guys and film. I'm super excited. You guys are going to see that content on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Also, I have a banger, banger chef video coming out. I'm going to be editing it on my trip. It's going to be like a what? I think I'm going to be out there for a week. I'm excited. I'm super excited. So I'm going to be editing my video because I don't have an editor yet. <laughs> we'll get you one. I think I'm going to speak to those people and see... Um, if that goes well but if not i have another lead on someone we'll figure it out i'll we'll figure, figure it out one way somehow. or another i'm uh, yeah. gonna get you put the, i'm gonna get you get you get put you, the get pieces you. together and we'll figure something something out and like your videos are a lot shorter so it's probably a lot easier to find someone um and my videos aren't like aren't complex is mm -hmm. that the, is that the right word like no, my they're video, not like mine for sure because i have more of a character like i have a character to play and it's like more interesting so you don't have to do many effects to like keep you engaged and entertained you know I'm just kidding. You're funny as hell. <laughs> I'm joking. Nah, but the chat video is going to be so funny, bro. Hi, baby. Dude, I'm so happy. Like, Hola, niño. <laughs> Have you seen that TikTok? Yeah, that was an old ass TikTok, bro. <laughs> <sighs> all right we are going to close up the podcast now because someone has to wash their hair <laughs> nighttime routine okay jake you know what that's the one thing that you literally always gas me on it's the hair because you have nothing else on me you have nothing else on me about my hygiene no not hygiene but there's everything else <laughs> <laughs> hey but that's a good thing would you rather have me like uh, i don't know i'd rather be like there's some times where you'll go like you know, two, three hours without brushing your teeth in the morning. But I'm not going to go tell you, like, go brush your teeth. But I know you don't brush your teeth, you know? Well, it's because I have to eat breakfast before you brush your teeth. That's disgusting. You don't want to grab, you don't want to eat breakfast with, like, that Colgate, you know, in your mouth. That is or disgusting, whatever brand you Jacob. Use. Oh, my gosh. Are you a team brush your teeth after you eat breakfast? Yes. Are <gasps> you not? You have to brush your teeth after you eat breakfast. No, you have to brush your teeth Why? as soon as you wake up, and then you could brush it after breakfast too. Okay, you don't do that though. Well, because I don't do eat do breakfast. That? I yes, eat coffee, you do. and coffee's like a second um, toothbrush. Coffee stains your teeth. How is it a second? Not toothbrush? mine. Mine are fake. <laughs> <laughs> the, my boy got my boy got what's it called? He got the the <laughs> he got the shark teeth. Shark teeth? What was shark teeth? For the veneers? No, I don't have shark teeth. Hey, don't ever say that shit, all right? Nah, your teeth look like the same, they're just a little bit smaller. Yeah. I had fucking... Okay, we're not even getting into that. We should do an, uh, apple, we should do an apple biting contest, see who wins. <laughs> Fuck you, I can't do that. You are, <laughs> two teeth are in there? Hey! <laughs> so suddenly the apple Dude, got as veneers. long as I can eat coffee, like, Drink. without... Okay, without, like... You know, getting stained teeth, who gives a fuck? Yeah, but bro. The teeth, Watch up the apple up, it's fine. Your teeth color, bro, I hate doing this podcast because your teeth color are like the whitest shade and then there's my color, like all the way at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, but then I look like a little doll and you look normal, so it's fine. You like the fake dolls? Or like whenever we're taking pictures with supporters and you're smiling, I don't smile. I don't, I don't even show my teeth when we're uh, taking pictures with supporters. Okay, that's that's good because I like if I see you smiling with your teeth, I cover my, I like close my mouth. I'm just dude. You can whiten your teeth and have way better teeth than me because yours are real. But widening hurts. Okay, so they get veneers. I'm gonna get. Actually, I'm starting to use a, another product that I have. I've been like looking at, and supposedly doesn't hurt. So, dude, I nothing hurts more than veneers. Just get the whitening. Just do it. <laughs> Just fucking do it. Does it veneers it hurt? hurt so bad. Really? Yeah. Do you regret it? No, but it was a lot of pain. So if I could go back, I don't know if I would do it just because of the pain. That's like me with a tattoo. Like I don't regret getting this tattoo, but I don't want to get another one because the pain is like it's intense. Yeah, like these veneers, like if they ever decide to just fall off, goodbye teeth, goodbye everything. I'm not redoing the veneer. Dude, like <laughs> when I tell you that shit was so expensive, like no, not expensive. It was so painful. So, so, so painful. And nobody says how painful it is. I feel like the veneers, everyone just says how like amazing they are, but nobody says the pain of veneers. It was crazy. Like I've had obviously like a boob job before and like the veneers were beyond painful. Yeah, I was right there at the edge getting about to get veneers, but now that you told me that I'm not gonna get veneers. <laughs> no, you don't need veneers. Don't you look need, at my teeth. You just bro. need to whiten them. Yeah, I need to whiten my teeth. I hate my smile. No, but your smile's perfect and it's perfectly aligned. Mine were not perfectly okay. We what got are a golden retriever in the back fighting bugs, bro. She's fighting flies. <laughs> my, All right, buddy. My boy a, a fire flighter. Go to bed, buddy. 
A flyer fighter. There we go. Um. All right. We're going to close off this podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed our freaking long rant about each other. Don't take it to heart. It's just oh a joke. Gosh. Like, I, I don't I don't have to leave a disclaimer, but I'm going to leave a disclaimer. Like, it's all jokes. Cause this Even though they're based on real, real events, it's joking. Yeah, because they're going to start the Nat hate train. All the guys. <laughs> yeah. And even girls, too, The Oh, yeah. A lot of girls hate mm. me because of the hate train. No, sorry, not just because of like, mm. I think it's because <laughs> what do you think it is? I, I think it's because they think you treat me bad, but like I'm doing these events and then obviously you're not going to be happy about it. I think I'm very like expressive. Like when I tell stories, I like to really like you, you, you extend the, like you drag the story a bit. Like yeah. Have, I don't know why. And, but. and no, no, I don't drag the story on baby. It, it was very much like that, but I feel like my tone gets really like, no, because you know how like I get with my family or like how my family gets like Dude, when they come get over. Loud. Yeah. And I feel like it comes like off aggressive. In a way. And um, and I feel like a lot of girls that aren't in relationships or are, like, very submissive in their relationship could never imagine, like, I feel like having a conversation, like, the way that we do. So they automatically take it as, like, but it's mainly single people who are in their relationship. You never know. No, I'm pretty sure. Because every single time I've had a hate comment from, like. Um, oh, I get you. I, I always I check you. their profile and they're always single. They're always single. It's like usually. Because they don't understand yet. They don't get it. Yeah, they don't get it. Unless you're like in a long-term relationship and you're a loud, crazy person and you're not perfect, like like a perfect, um, like religious, nice, calm girl. It's, I'm just the complete opposite to that. I'm very like, oh, you know? Yeah. You and you are too, though. <laughs> That's why I feel like we compliment each other because we're so rowdy together. But I'm it comes off aggressive. I like getting rowdy on, uh, on certain occasions. It's fun. It's, it's fun giving you a little spice. It's so fun, especially when we throw shit at each other. It's just so fun. Oh, yeah, fun. when we throw stuff at each other, it's the funniest thing, bro. It's just so fun. But, and we, so, like, but we can't expect other people to understand that because there is people that have relationships where they're like, you know, like the relationship advice on TikTok where it's like, treat each other with respect. Do not raise your voice. Like, they're, you know, that we don't live that relationship. We're just like. That gives me like vibes of like uh, not, not disciplining your kids. Anyways, we're going to close it up. We hope you guys really enjoyed this podcast and had a laugh and don't get like rowdy and upset about it. Do not forget uh, to subscribe. Please subscribe. If you're watching this, subscribe, please. We're so close to our, what is it? I think we're at, we're at 100K. Let's get to 150 soon. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. And we will see you in the next podcast. Bye. Bye.